What's up everyone, it's your boy Richard Wong, aka RW, back with another video, and today I want to celebrate my Machine Logic video, which is my most popular, most viewed video, hitting 10,000 views. I know it's a little past that now, but I definitely wanted to make this video just as an update. Also, to celebrate that, I'm be dropping my personal Logic Machine template. Link is in the description. But of course, of course, like what's the point of having the template if you don't know how to use it? So in this video, I'm gonna go into how to you know create your own template and how to set everything up and also how to use the template that I created. But before we get started, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe for more videos, and let's get into it. All right, now here we are in the session. As you can see, I do have this drum group right here and that's where I have my machine so I'll pull that up first things first I'm gonna show how to use my template and then I'm gonna show how to create your own so this is my current template as you can see I have one two three four five six uh, channels already created and that's because you know for the most part I use a maximum of six drum sounds sometimes I use more but it's very rare if you look at your machine hardware at least for me I still have the mark one so if you have the mark two mark three uh, even the plus I'm not sure how it's gonna look but to me I only have six pads lit up so the way it works is that you just get a sound and drag it into here uh, for the most part this is how I lay my, my stuff out my sound one will be my kick clap hi-hat you know you get the deal but obviously I don't doesn't mean I use those at the same time for example I usually start with a clap I'm gonna put that right here as you can see every time the clap hits signal is going into the clap section so that's all you have to do everything's already perfectly routed and you just have to drag and drop or just click in these sounds and then put it over and the way I do it is I like to work in machine so I can use the hardware and then when I'm done I'll pull the MIDI and pull it in and then I'll mute it so that you know as you can see I do have all these I usually delete these extras but if you if you do this you still have the sound playing and you get to work with MIDI in logic so that's what I usually do it just works exactly how regular MIDI will work you can do the same thing for all these channels that's what I usually do now if you want more drum sounds this is where I'm gonna get into how to add new sounds so the way it works is you just hit you just go to your mixer and you hit this plus button right here so you just hit plus and you'll get another sound so now this will be pad 7 yeah create the track as well and then it pops up right here right so then after that you will go to sound 7 right here you go to this button you are MIDI source host channel 7 Okay, now at this point it should be lit up on your on your machine seven pads but also you have to go here and go to group for a sound seven and go to external seven that way it routes to this sound right here and now if I put a sound on sound seven it comes up right here so that's essentially how you use the um, template and you just pretty much keep doing that for example, you go to 8, you go to still go to host, you go to 8, you go to channel 8, and you go here, and you go to 8, right? And you do the same thing. You build everything in here, drag it in, and you're good. Now, if you don't want that, say, for example, I have the kick, clap, hi-hats, open hat, perk 1, perk 2, and you're like, you know what? I'm only going to use perk 1, per not perk 2. You just got to you just gotta delete it. That's all. And then you would have to delete it here as well because they're still going to be in the mixer channel. So you just got to get rid of those. And also part of my template, as you can see, I have these gain uh, utility plugins, and that's only for gain staging. You can literally just get rid of them, or you can use them. The way I like to use them is I like to dial in just to lower the volume here first, because if you just lower the fader and add effects, it's still going into your effects really hot. So I like to lower it before the fader, and that's what that's for. But of course, if you don't want to do that, <laughs> just get rid of it. It's all good. Um, I also have my own custom display. If you don't want that, all the things that are on here, customize control bar display and uh, make it the way you want it. Or if you like the default, apply defaults. Uh, I have this on every session on all my projects because it gives me everything I want. I customize this myself, get the time, uh, BPM, time signature, beat divisions, scale, the CPU, HD, you know, seeing all that. 
lets me see where I'm at, you know, if I'm using too much memory, using too much CPU. Also, I believe this top bar is custom as well. I'm not sure the default is, but I do have a lot of stuff there. And I also think this is customized as well. This has nothing to do with the machine stuff. I'm just letting you know what's part of my template. Now, if you want to build your own template, so open up a fresh instance of the machine. Um, it's still a part of my template, but I'm just going to use it to show you how to create more tracks. So when you start off and you have a brand new um, session, again, open it up, multi-output. You can, As you add sounds, you have to click this plus and number two will come. So aux two will be sound two. And you click it again, you get a third one. You just keep clicking to your heart's content how many tracks you want. As you build, you could do that as well. You could, you know, as you throw things into machine, you keep adding more. But keep in mind, make sure you're here. All these on MIDI, host, 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 host. And make sure the number here correlates to the channel. So you have channel one for track one, two, three, four, five. And of course, like I said, all of them are under host. Then you go here. And you just name them external one, external two. These will all be say group when you first open it. So you open one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you'll be able to set everything up perfectly. And then you just, for me at least, I like to drag out the MIDI. Um, if you're dragging out audio, you don't need to do any of this anyways. You can just drag out audio to audio tracks and they'll just create them for you. But if you want to mess with the MIDI from machine in Logic, you, that's those are the steps you have to take. And then you just, you know, drag. I don't have it right here because I don't have a pattern. There you go. You just drag that in and you get all your MIDI and everything like that. That's going to be it for this one. Thank you guys so much for getting that video to 10,000 views. If you're still a little confused from this video and want a more in-depth look on how to create your own template, how to make Logic work with Machine, I'll have a video pop up to the original video. That one is super in-depth. People pretty much tell me you cannot mess up. <laughs> all right? That video makes it so you cannot mess up. And of course, if you want to just use my template, the link is in the description to download for free, of course. But yep, that's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. See you guys next time. Peace.